All right, guys, this is gonna be a quick guide on the new Christmas event. So first things first, we're gonna enter the cupboard and we're going to run to the north here and go inside this tent and talk to the Ice Queen, AKA Elsa. AKA Frozen 2 is the best movie. Okay, ask about the land of snow and you're gonna also go through the other option, ask about the uh, feast. And then say, perhaps I could help you. And then say, can't you help? And then talk to the, and just go through all the chat boxes. Uh, something must be done about this and then say count me in you're also gonna want uh, six buckets you can get some buckets from inside of Scrooge's house but I just probably prefer just grabbing six buckets beforehand and also if you're running around a lot you might want to grab a stamina or energy potion next you're gonna run east to Scrooge's house get inside the house over here talk to this NPC over here which is Scrooge Ebenezer Scrooge and we're asking you to release Santa please want you to reconsider and he disappears now what we're gonna do is search through all these cupboards and crates and stuff so that this one we get the bed sheets which we need uh, we're also gonna need the uh, needles which we're gonna find over here needle and thread search the cupboard and then we're also gonna need the chain which is in the northeast room and it's gonna be in this barrel over here okay and once we have all those things we're going to use the needle on the thread and it's going to make the ghost outfit the imp's gonna give us the rest of the pieces put it on put it on Okay, make sure you're not wielding anything else. Okay, so the next thing's next. We're gonna need to uh, go back to the Ice Queen and talk to her and basically find out what he Ebenezer Scrooge did in his past. So the ghost of the past and the ghost of the present, then ghost of the future. Ask about Scrooge. And talks about a love story. We're gonna go back up to Scrooge's house and now we can uh, go up the stairs. So you're gonna wake him up, go through a little bit of a cutscene here. Uh, I would recommend putting on your um, sound effects on because it's actually pretty enjoyable some of the sounds later on into the event. But yeah, you're going to go through a cutscene here and you're going to tell him that you're a ghost and then go through the chat and then weight of my sins or heavy guilt. Uh, I always just choose weight of my sins. And then and then you tell him about the queen. Why did you betray the queen? He, now he's going to cast a spell on everybody on the feast and it becomes a little bit of a puzzle, but it's pretty easy. All you got to do is do it in reverse. So just pay attention real quick here. You can see it later on too. You'll see, uh, looks like everything's fine, but then they get uh, burnt or whatever. And one, two, three, four, five, six. So this last one is actually gonna be our first one. So in case you mess up, uh, it's actually not too big of a deal. Um, when you mess up, everybody gets frozen again or whatever. Uh, gets the spell like resets and it'll show you the order again uh, and then you just have to do it in that reverse order so we'll head back to the feast fill up our buckets so we'll fill up our buckets on this fountain get really icy water and i think you gotta use them one by one yep does an auto fill and our our last one was the party goer so we're gonna do that he should be freed now and i think we had the general ward face after that and I think we had the cook before that. Might mess up here. Maybe this one. Yep, we messed up. Party. More cook, bent, and then sir, and then Tom. So let's fill up our buckets again. So again, just gotta go in reverse order. This is probably the longest part of the quest. All you gotta do is kind of write down what the uh, rotation is. Little Timmy. And then he's gonna talk to you. And you come up with the idea to talk to him about the ghost of the present. And we're back at the house again. So we're gonna run north and climb up the stairs. And we're again gonna go through another cutscene. The option you're gonna wanna choose here is Tiny Tom. Not until you have seen what I have to show you. And then, who was his name again? Tiny Tom. The imp spawns him. But he doesn't uh, do anything again, so now we're going to do the Ghost of the Future. So the imp will start talking to you here, um, or talk to the imp. And he says, oh, I've been so stupid. We have to do the Ghost of the Future thing. Just leave it to me. Just go up the stairs. So you don't have to move. Just go back up the stairs. And this will complete the event over here. This is the last cutscene you have to go through. This one's the actual, the, the best one, actually. So definitely have your sounds on. 
and then you're gonna use the angry emotes uh, anything that's like scary so then scary emote then you're gonna do dramatic point and then just click through everything else now he's like spooked so he's asked for mercy and he's going to fix the fix everything he cursed so now the events done we're just gonna go talk to Santa Claus back at the center once we talk to Santa Claus we're gonna claim our present by this tree you don't see it there right now but once we talk to him it should spawn right there and we'll pick up our present and this should be the quest or whatever complete so you get to keep um, the ghost costume you get a candy cane and you get three new emotes and that's it so you got the snowman dance you got freeze it's a cool one and then you get to keep the dramatic point one as well and that's it hope you guys enjoyed the guide